Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to build a music player application which will be able to fetch the music from your device and play it. It is going to be an interesting project. So let's first see the UI. So here you can see that this is the UI we are going to build. So as I got this UI from the internet, I will be making some changes to it so that it won't cause any copy issue. So in here in our VS code, let's first create a project. So new application location and in here I will be saying beats and just press enter. Okay, so our project is completed. Let's just remove all these comments. For that, I will be using Control F and in here I will pass this command and select every command and just press this so it will just replace everything. Sorry. Okay, now it will replace. Save it. And in here, let's remove this home page. We will create our own so let's remove this also and in here let's say beats okay so this is the project but before that we need to make some changes as we are building for the android we need to go to the android folder app build our gradle and in here we need to change the compile sdk to 33 and after that change the minimum sdk version to 21 and also change the target to 33 save it and now you can close it and after that you need to go to the android source main and android manifest so as i told you that this application will be able to access the music from your device so we need to pass the permissions to access the storage so let me just paste it okay so these are the two permissions we will be using okay so let's also comment here mm, access storage and now we need to say like this okay so these are the two commands you need to enter you can get them from the google or you can copy them from this video and after that you need to close and close all these folders also so as we are going to use getx in this project so let's add that first so add dependency and in here we need to say get just press enter so it will download the getx package for us so it is downloaded and now we need to add some folders let's create a assets folder here and in here i will be pasting my custom fonts and let's paste them okay so here are the two phones we will be using you can use your own phones or you can ignore them if you don't want to add any custom font and after that we need to go to the pubspec.rtml so we can register them and in here in this font section we need to add these so it will be bold and now we need to say assets slash bold art otf copy paste and it will be regular so it will be our regular and just save it after that go to the lib and in here create a new folder which will be our posts and in here we need to create a file for the colors colors dot dot okay so these are the colors we will be using you can change them if you want or you can copy them if you want the same colors and after that you need to save and close it so now we need to remove this primary from here and remove this also or we can use this and in here i will be saying mm, font family and i will be using regular by default and after that for the app bar theme i will say app bar theme and in here we need to change the background color to colors dot transparent and also set the elevation to zero okay so after that we need to create a new folder which will be our views and in here we will be creating our home dot dot and the other one will be our player dot dot so in the home dot dot we need to create a stateless widget so it will be home and in here we need to return a scaffold and in this scaffold i will be using an app bar and 
for the body i will use our container save it and okay now let's design the app bar so for the title i will be saying beats and now we need to wrap it here so it will be text beats and now we need to style it so style text style and in here we need to say font size so the font size will be 18 and the color will be color start white we can use our custom color here so it, which is our white color and after that font family so i will be using bold font family here so as we know that we will be using the text widget again and again for the name of the song and the artist and for other properties so i will just copy this style from here and in the constant folder i will create our text style dot dot and in this file we need to create a method so it will be our style and this is our method so in here we need to return this whole text style so now we need to import our material and also the color file and just save it okay so as we know that all the text will be of different font family and size and color so we need to add the parameters for that so we can change them so i will say family will be equal to regular by default and after that we need to say double size will be 14.0 or we can say 14 and after that we need to say color will be white color by default and now we need to set them here as the size as the color and as the own family so this is our family here now we need to remove this constant and just save it so every time we need to use this style we will just and use our style here and now we need to remove this constant and just save it so in here we need to pass our family so the family will be bold so instead of writing this in the string let's make a constant for this too so it will be const bold is equal to bold const regular is equal to regular so every time we need these font families we will just use the bold or regular so in the text style let's say regular 